Let's look at how you invoke scripts with Switch Coder. I have this test script right here. As you can see, it answers a call. It says, hello from Switch Coder, and then it hangs up. I have it tied to this number here. So let's see what happens when I call that number. Hello from Switch Coder. Well, it looks like it works. Let's change the script to make it reply to an SMS with Hello Switch Coder. Let's see what happens when we SMS it. And it looks like that worked as well. The last way you can fire off a script is through a web request. So let's say you want Switch Coder to send an SMS to any destination you specify. So let's change this code. We'll take the destination from the web request and the message that we're going to send. We'll hit save. And then we're going to need an API token. So go to our account and then we'll create a new API token. Let's call this one test token. We'll make it active. And there's our API token. We'll copy that. Next, we're going to craft a web request. We'll use curl. We'll copy in the API token that we have in the buffer. We'll go back to the script and we'll grab the API URL, which is here. Back at our web request, we'll paste in that URL and then we'll set a parameter for our API token and then we'll set some script parameters. Notice I have to put in pluses for spaces because this is all used within a URL. Let's see what happens. Notice we got back the status success as the result. So those are the three ways you can invoke your scripts within Switch Coder. Thanks for watching and happy switch coding!